Hi, my babies. How motherfucking are you, hoes, bitch? How fucking are you? I'm doing amazing. I just got done making me some catfish fried hard as fuck. Bitch to the motherfucking bone. I don't think there's no bones in there, though. That's fine. But I love some good fried food. If you're going to make me some food, if you're going to fry it, you're going to have to fry that bitch down. I like my food well the fuck done. Not burnt, but well done. Don't give me no medium rare. Baby L, no. I'm just feeling it, bitch. Um, it feels, I just want to say, it feels so good to be an independent boss ass bitch and I have to rely on a man to take care of me, to do anything for me. I don't even need a man for love at this point in my life. Not that I don't want it because I would love a husband in the future. Right now, I'm on my hustle. I'm on my motherfucking grind. So I'm not personally looking for a man. If you is a good man and you want to date me and you come to me and you coming to me with the qualities that I'm looking for as a gentleman, I won't turn you down. You're going to have to prove yourself. But I'm just letting you know I'm not personally looking. I'm really on my motherfucking grind. I'm a self-sufficient boss ass bitch. I'm an independent ass bitch. And like I live alone and everything. Like I don't need a man to do anything for me. I do everything on my own. I take care of my bills on my own. I grind on my own. I, I do all my shit. Like even when it comes to sexual pleasures and all I don't even have sexual partners because I'm not even I don't give a fuck about that right now like if you is not going to support me for real for real then you can miss me with the bullshit um there is so many men out here if I feel like all men is just like they like to ghost you like come on come on guys talk to me what is your fucking problem? <laughs> it's not even just me. It's a lot of women. Like, it can be with escorting. Some of them hoes like to ghost you. Don't like to show up to their appointments. Sugar daddies act like they want to be your sugar daddy. They don't. Them hoes ghost you. you. You conversating one day. Next thing you know, they're not even picking up their phone, answering the text messages. They be like, damn, what 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 did what bitch do? A boyfriend or a dating. You ghosting me or blocking my number. You're not even letting me know that we broke up. You just going on your merry fucking way. Like, I feel like you guys do the cop out cowardly ass route. That's some weak ass shit. Real men don't do that. I thought man supposed to be like leader is someone so strong. I like why are you guys ghosting? I know men don't be so in tune with their feelings and stuff like that, but communication is big, especially when it comes to relationships and business relationships. That shit is very fucking important. Why aren't you guys speaking up and letting bitches know, oh, I don't want to fuck with you no more. I'm not looking for a relationship. I'm not feeling it no more. You guys don't do any of that. You just poof the fuck be gone. Like hocus pocus. Like you guys be out of it. You don't answer your text messages or calls. You don't let a bitch know a motherfucking thing. That's weird. <clears throat> That's really fucking odd to me. It's like, who is we supposed to look up to as the leaders and like the alpha males then if men is doing some cowardly ass shit like this? You bitches invite yourselves into my life, into my space. You hit me up, do DM messages and phone calls and shit. You tell me that you want to date me. You admire me so much. Um, you can marry me in the future. You can do all of this stuff. I want to come out for you. Blah, blah, blah. And as soon as a bitch give you a little inkling of a chance, you take advantage of it and you get fucking ghost. 
like I don't hear from you no more it just be like what the fuck is really going on like why do you guys do that do you know why you do that you hit me up I didn't even reach out to you you hit you hit me up trying to come in my life my fucking personal space telling me what you will do that you're just like this dream come true as a man and next thing you know I don't hear from you hoes no more either I'm noticed that you haven't hit me up or I hit you up like a sugar daddy for interest Hey babe, how your day going? Um, do you mind sending me eighty dollars to my cash app so I can take care of my cable bill? What did he do? He don't even he don't even answer the fucking text. So I'm just like, well damn, can't rely on him. Even if I I don't need a man for anything, like I said, I can take care of him myself. I didn't even really I didn't need eighty dollars for no cable bill. I just got cable like yesterday. I just wanted $80. And you're supposed to be the fucking sugar daddy, so you're supposed to fucking provide it. Why is it an issue? Do I got to scratch, scream, and cry and scream fucking bloody murder to get your attention so you can send me your doodles with the fuck you supposed to be doing from our arrangement? I would never chase a motherfucking man, especially right now in my life and I'm on my boss womanly shit it's not motherfucking happening I got my motherfucking crown on bitch Nicki Minaj crown type shit I got that motherfucking crown on and it's not coming off I'm trying to humble myself and not just because I know eventually in life I, I, of course I would want a man and want some company and all of that so I'm trying to humble myself you bitches making it really motherfucking hard but yeah the sugar daddy um, 24 hours later today if I hit you up at 2.37 p.m. yesterday you hitting me up at 3 o'clock p.m. today but you only hit me up because I said hey daddy what do you did you give up on me already? Because he hasn't been around that long. And about 20 minutes later, he texts and said, no, unless you miss me. I said, oh. I didn't really know what that meant, but I'm gonna just take it from what it seems like. So basically, you want me to scream, scratch, and cry and come running to you and pout and bag. That's what the fuck you want me to do. So you want me to call out and all that to get your attention so that way you can send me a cash app. Oh, I'm not doing that. I told that bitch. I said, you know what? I'm not even interested anymore. You have a great motherfucking day. Um, if you, you think I'm going to be someone that's desperate and you, you want me to feel like I need you, that would never happen it would never fucking happen and it that goes for any man future husband or not I'm gonna make sure I'm always good so I would never have to need a man or rely on a man if I am in need for something like anything you know who the fuck I'm gonna ask I'm gonna go to my mama I'm going to my mama or maybe my dad or even my sister I'm not going to no man for that sugar daddy he sent me cash apps and stuff before all of it was all on his end he wanted to do that for me I didn't ask him to do any of it of course I accepted it you're 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 throwing out coin honey hell yeah I want to give it but I never personally asked them, can you send me? Yesterday was the first time, and it was $80. It wasn't even like 800 It was 80 motherfucking dollars. And I'm like, I didn't notice he wasn't being such a control freak before. But now that I personally ask you, then you want to turn into it. I'm like, 
the manipulative games. See, and this is why I don't do shit like that. I'm not the sugar baby, sugar daddy type of thing because it always comes with some type of control. I'm not out here grinding and escorting for nothing. I'm doing this shit so I can stay on my shit. Sugar daddy or fucking not. I'm not relying on nobody to take care of me. The, the, the moment I go to ask this man for just a couple of dollars, then he want to, the control come on. And I'm like, I won't be doing it again. If you hoes bring yourselves into my motherfucking life, you better be the fuck ready. And don't ever make it seem like I'm going to need you because I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen. If I ask you for something, you're just supposed to be doing your motherfucking job. And supply and support. I'm not chasing no man. I'm not running, screaming, doing all that belligerent shit over no man. I'm not doing it. I got way too much respect and high standards for my fucking self. I don't even have sexual partners right now. Like, if I'm in a mood and I want some company, I don't... Baby, I take care of myself. I'll go watch a little porn and get my motherfucking self off home. I'm not even interested, honey. I'm not even worried about no man. That's where my mindset at. Thank you for your love and stuff. I... I thank you. Thank you for the support and stuff. I'm not talking to... Necessarily 100% man. This just goes to the experience that I, um, you know, had. But this speaking to some man out there as well. If you're going to try to pursue something with me, be serious and don't ghost a bitch. Communicate with me and let me know what the fuck it is. If there's something you feel like I can do better, let a bitch know. Hello. <laughs> Next thing you know, you vibing all good with a man. Next day, you know, you feeling it. You might be laying in bed and text them. Hey, babe, what you doing? An hour go by, no reply. Day go by, no reply. And you really got to go in on the bitch in a text message or the call or voicemail. You be like, what the fuck is your problem? Like, why you ghosting me? Like, you know what? Blah, 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 blah. You got to go through all of that to get some type of response. And then when they give you a response, it be bland and dry as hell. Like, you don't even give a fuck. Mm -mm. Don't invite yourself in my life if you're going to do some bullshit like that. Because Hazel Dior is going to be ready for your motherfucking ass. You know what? This is why I just do what I do. Just bring me my motherfucking coin. And we can do an hour session or two hour session. I can give you your life. And we can just do it that way. Because you already have a motive any motherfucking way. Do you really care about my well-being as a person? Or you just after me because you you intrigued by transgenders. A woman with a penis and you want to fuck and suck on it. It's all the fetish thing. That's what it is. Do you care about me as a whole? If I go through any type of problems, are you going to be there for me? Are you going to support me? Or are you just going to run the fuck off? Be there for me as a person. Don't just be with me because I'm transgender. Because that you're seeking out a motive. And to me, that's a fetish. And fetishes never. That doesn't work. It doesn't last. Because you're nothing but a fetish. Who want to be just, thank you for looking at me as a fetish. And that's why you can bring me my motherfucking coin. But don't try to be in a relationship with me. And that's all I am is a fetish because you won't give a fuck about nothing else. Nothing else. You need somebody there that's going to be there through thick and thin. That's going to have your back no, no fucking matter what. Through any crisis. Any fucking crisis. Even that scare story I just told you guys. If something like that was to happen, you need somebody who's going to be there. Even through that. Like, you need somebody. I want a man that's going to be there no matter what I don't have to worry about and if you can't do that <clears throat> then you're just going to be my client or a date and just bring me my fucking money 
that's all I'm asking for. Just bring me my motherfucking money and and bring some respect along with it. But if you think I'm going to bend down over for you and do all of that to try to get your attention and you only look at me as a fetish anyway, <laughs> please. <laughs> anyway, I'm over this fucking conversation. It was lovely. Um, thank you, babes, for watching me. I love you all. Um, the man that's, that watched me, thank you. Um, I love you and I, su I fuck with you as well. Thank you for su supporting me. Um, as I said, this is wasn't for all men. This is for a lot of them that does that bullshit. If, it, if the shoe fits, then you're going to have to wear it. Then I'm definitely talking to you. If you're a real ass man, a gentleman, and you really fuck with people just genuinely, I fuck with you. Hazel motherfucking Dior is out to speak.